Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to insert radio button values MySQL PHP My Admin database without using entity framework. And here we got the final output. Employee name is a text box control and the gender is a radio button controls male and female. Now let's add the employee name is a Charan gender male save and the message we got the charan is saved successfully let's check in the database i'm browsing the table and here we got the results the employee id is one employee name charan and the gender is male let's add another record this time female Samantha save since Samantha is saved successfully let's check the table also browse Samantha record is saved and the radio button value is female if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I just logged into my SQL PHP my admin for this demo purpose, I am creating a new table in the sample db database SQL create table emp the column names emp id which is the integer type not null primary key and I am adding auto increment column EMP name where cat fifteen and the last column I'm adding gender for the radio button values cat the data type is let's create the table click go and here the table is created successfully let's browse the table EMP and here we got the results of the newly created table EMP contains zero rows. Now my aim is I want to insert the values into the tables using ASP.NET MVC. Let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Insert Radio Values MySQL. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm choosing MVC4. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let me close this window. Open Solution Explorer. Now the first thing in this project, I'm adding a class in this models folder. Right click the models, add class. The class name is EMP class, add. And here we got the EMP class. Now in this EMP class, I'm adding some public properties, public string. The property name is the employee name get and set. And the second one is a public string gender get set. After adding these properties into this EMP class, now I am creating a controller open solution explorer. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC for controller empty. Click add. The controller name is EMP add. And here we have the controller also EMP controller. The first thing I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.configuration. The next namespace I'm adding the mysql.data but in visual studio by default we don't have the mysql.data dll libraries 
into the project folder so we need to install manually open solution explorer I'm expanding the references folder notice in this libraries there is no any mysql.data dll library let's add that one right click the references manage nudget packages click that one browse search for mysql enter and from the search results i'm selecting the first option mysql.data install okay I accept the license and here we got the message in the output window successfully installed mysql.data DLL library the version is 8.0.12 into our project folder and also you can check the tick mark the green color which means this DLL library is installed successfully in our project Let's close this output message window, switch to the code behind, open solution explorer and notice now in the references we have the mysql.data DLL libraries added. Let's minimize the references folder. Let's add the namespace using mysql.data.mysql client. After that the last namespace I'm adding the models insert my project name dot models once we add these namespaces now my next step is i want to add the mysql connection string in the web.config file open solution explorer come to the bottom web.config file the last one click that one now in these connection strings i'm adding my connection string of mysql add name is equals to mysql connection connection string data source is equals to localhost semicolon port number the port number of mysql php my admin is notice at the top mysql 3306 the server Add that one initial catalog the initial catalog we need to add the database name the database name is a sample DB semicolon user ID is equals to road which is the default username password Password I'm leaving blank because I don't have any password to log in to my SQL PHP my admin. If you have any password, please enter that one. The last one is the SSL mode is equals to none. SSL mode is equals to none is very important. You must add this one in the connection string under data source, otherwise, you'll face an error at runtime. After adding the mysql php my admin connection string in the web.config file, switch to the code behind. Now, let's create an action result of the index, the new one, and this one is the http post. In the action result index, I'm adding my class name, which is the emp class. EC. string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding mysql connection string name which is mysql connection or oh, friends here it's showing some error so we forgot to close the double quotes Okay, let's copy this one and paste in here dot connection string mysql connection sql con is equals to new mysql connection 
I'm adding this main con object string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query I'm writing the insert statement insert into the table name is EMP table copy this one paste here the values the employee name the column names comma the second column name is a gender values at EMP name at gender my SQL command SQL com is equal to new my SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is a SQL query the command text comma and the second parameter is a connection object which is this one SQL con let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with value I'm adding EMP name comma and the second parameter is the object value the object value is EC the employee this object dot employee name let's copy this one paste here the second one is the gender ec dot gender sql com dot execute non query method now once the record is inserted successfully i want to display the message the record is saved for that i'm using the view data view data results is equals to ec.emp name plus is save successfully semicolon that's it we have written the coding part in the controller to insert the values into emp table now the next step is we need to add the view page so before adding the view page we must build the solution and here we got the message the build succeeded let's close this output message window now it's time to create the index view page highlight the index action result I click that one add view the view name is index only and the template I'm selecting create the model class I'm adding EMP class which is this one add and here we got the index view page the EMP name and the gender and the gender I'm deleting the editor for control I'm adding the radio button control at HTML dot radio button double quotes is a gender comma the object value the object value I want to show M male copy this one here and this one is capital F female after adding the radio buttons now I'm changing the button value save and the last one I'm adding the view data message controller just copy this one at HTML dot view data results I'm adding h1 tags
that's it now before run this application the most important is we need to change the controller name in the road config file open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one road config dot cs open that one notice here the controller name is a home which is a default one i'm deleting the home and our controller name is a emp controller I'm adding the EMP and the action result is the index page only which is this one let's check the output Google Chrome and here we got the final output employee name is a text box control and the gender is a radio button controls male and female now let's add the employee name is a Charan gender male save And the message we got the Charan is saved successfully. Let's check in the database. I'm browsing the table. And here we got the results. The employee ID is one, employee name Charan, and the gender is male. Let's add another record. This time female Samantha. Save. This Samantha is saved successfully. Let's check the table also. Browse. The record is saved. And the radio button value is female. That's it.